Y'all already knew, so it's a lowland sand slash drop back down to NU. I am going to do my best to showcase snow with it. And I say do my best because this is the kind... I've tried three times to record this video. And this is the kind of team I keep running into. Just what am I to do versus these three? <laughs> Anyhow, I've been enjoying the content. Subscribe. We're on our way to 10k subscribers. And I need all the help for that. 50% of y'all watching right now that are not yet subscribed. I will shame you and do it too. So go down and subscribe. I'm going to probably have to Terra my Pylos one. Not my Pylos one. God. My Colossal this game. As we look at my opponent's team. Um, I would love to keep Hazards versus it. They've got Avalug. And we already know my experiences with Avalug in this tier. I did nothing. Oh my god. Yo, invest in some damage, bro. That ain't no damn damage you're doing. As they also immediately get their rocks up after getting a little bit of EQ chip. This is probably the best positioning I will ever get with this team. As I get my Veil up here. I wish I could be a Jack Pack. Of course, Icy Rock's going to be better. I want the extra turns. And <laughs> Imagine having like three turns to do something with a Lowland Sand Slash. You think that's enough? Hell no. But yeah, <laughs> the previous two videos, like... <laughs> Let me give you a little bit of feedback on what I've faced. I have faced um, Mirror Herb, Swagger, Morpico. I don't even remember what the first game was. I oh no, it was OTR Bronzong. With just dual stabs. But oh my god. God, that mod reamed me? That's like a Glastria, so like, I can't even really break it. <laughs> it was some dire stuff. I felt hopeless. And I'm gonna be honest, I feel hopeless this match too. But I'm going to upload at this point, matter what. My opponent, really thoughtful, going for Stealth Rock there again. The reason I'm still gonna do this battle is because I'm tired of forfeiting. So I'm just going to CC here. There's no reason to do anything else. I'm actually Terra Ice on this Jolteon as well. Which will be really helpful versus Mr. Gligar. Yeah, we see... I could even Terra Fight here immediately, but nah. I like Terra Ice this match a ton, though. Especially with how they've already given me all their Pylos Wines help. This is probably... Again, this is the best angle I've had. And they give me... Huh? Well, I was going to say they give me Pylos Wine, but no, no. They don't. My opponent instead shuffling around my entire team. I don't think they understand their win condition this game. Because it is not letting your Pylos Wine go down and eventually giving Jolteon on my end a good matchup. Now, there's a little bit more to it, of course. I really hope they go... I was going to say, I really hope they get Poros here. Because if I can get a knock on that, that's really, really heavy for me. I'm going to Swords Dance. I've got an extra turn of Veil. Leftovers. Do I take this as a turn to knock? This mon faints on switching. I'm gonna take this as a turn to knock. This is going to give me a huge headache if I do not neuter it somehow here. This is also the issue that I had to the steam. It's like I want knockoff. I also want earthquake though, because otherwise Pauly and Taurus is just gonna sit. <laughs> it's really, really rough. Maybe they'll switch here and they'll scout for whether I even have the um earthquake. That's probably what I'd do. I mean, let's be fair. That could go Avalug. But I, that's also the thing. I need Iron Head. <laughs> Avalug is so common. If I don't have Iron Head, I literally can't even touch that. Icicle Spirit Earthquake knockoff just does not sound doable. So, that's why I haven't been as high on the options for Snow. Or maybe those the prospects, I should say, of Snow. Compared to some other people. Because I genuinely don't think it's got the conditions to succeed in Inu. And I was right, they do sack their Pylos Wine. I am happy with that trade, though. I'm gonna go Quill here. Let's see, you trailblazing up? Nah, they're Raging Bull. Hmm. I'm a Gunk Shot here, it's very, very free. If they go Gligar, yeah, this is okay. I have no clue if I'm faster than this. But I'm a risk it anyway! <laughs> yeah, boy! <laughs> yeah, boy! This mod wins pretty hard if I get a Calm Mind, by the way. Especially with Tauros being weak. Go out to a Bomb of Snow. Set my Veil. Get it right back up. Because there's no reason for me not to try to play to my Veil the whole game. I mean, it's just not. This Poros is a threat. Like, this is genuinely one of the biggest threats possible. Also, they've got Raging Bull, which is kind of sad. I don't even know if I go for Veil, actually. I think I just Blizzard here. 
Blizzard kind of sucks, though. They go Slash. I'll set Veil. If they go Poros, it's fine. We're just trying to get some chip. It's why it was okay to trade my entire Lilin Sand Slash for the knock on this. If this doesn't have leftovers, the spikes damage sticks. Any chip that the mom takes is going to be really, really helpful. And I think this, you know, <laughs> it's a snow showcase, but Jolteon's on the team because it's part of the, you know, it's part of the identity. I got that Terra Ice on deck. I can make use of my snow. Which is very, very cool. They knock my item. I'm here to tell you right now, I don't care. I'm just going to Blizzard this turn. I should be Earth Powering, by the way. Like, that makes a lot more sense. But since I'm faster, I don't want them getting a slow U-turn or something. So they go Avalug. Yeah, of course, they're Ice Body. Why would they not be? But I'm going to go into my Colossal now. And I'm also going to look for a Rapid Spin. And if I force this to Terra Ghost, you think, I'm, you think I'm upset with that? Hell no. So we got our Rapid Spin going. I can go Quill now very easily versus this. The initial hit won't do anything. And I get Intimidate anyway. Yeah, so this is the this is the worry, right? Um, <laughs> you are a horrible human being. You are just the worst human being ever. Like genuinely, you are disgusting. <laughs> Sub bulga. Oh god, yuck. But I think we're in an okay spot. If I'm them, I go into my Obama Snow here. It's like a Gligar. Yeah. Jump at him. Jump at him! Jump, man! Now, look, I still got my balloon. It doesn't do anything for me, but I still got it. Yo, what happens if I calm mind up versus this? I don't think I actually win yet. Volt switch doing 16? Eh, maybe I could've. <laughs> eh, maybe. Go a little insane. Oh, they were physical! No, no, that was the right play by me. That was the right play! I'm an iron head, you. Actually, what if I double into Quill? Because I... Mm, this mod's kind of annoying, actually. I'm gonna go back to Jolteon. They'll either EQ here, or they'll do something else that doesn't actually worry my Jolteon. But I'm worried about just staying in there. And yeah, they go they go back to you. Yeah, yeah, I know, I know what you're trying to do, bro. Let me just keep pivoting around you a little bit, my guy. Let me just keep pivoting around you. Bear tick might actually be really worth it here. Because this is a very free close combat. They still can terastalize, but if again, if I can get chip on this, especially seeing that this is sub bulk up, I don't think it's trailblaze. I can actually play the speed game versus it. Which is just helpful. I'd like to still limit its HP as best I can. Because Paladin Taurus is a scary, scary guy. I just don't think I'm gonna get hazard in this game. I don't have great turns to come in and actually set them, especially with this Obama Snow is being out. And they do give me Snowman. Nice. I am going to sack you. I'm not letting you set up. Oh, never mind. I'm letting you set up. You tear a ghost too? I will sack this entire mon here. Don't think I won't. I'm going to bolt switch here. <laughs> I will gladly bolt switch here. Do over half. Beautiful. Go to my Quillfish immediately. Sack this bond to the quill? Oh yeah, I live for it. And they're still going to be slower than me as well, which is great. I'm getting to that uh, Jolteon endgame. <gasps> Icicle Spear, my brother. They're loaded dice too. So they actually decided to drop Iron Head. Like I said, I just don't think you can. Go for T-Bolt here because I don't have to pivot. Avalog took that a little bit too well. And now we have to Volt Switch because I, just, I can't afford giving this bond... What's it called? I can't afford giving up my Jolteon. Jolt wins this game for me. Their whole team, though, is just a little too bulky for my liking. Going to Sand Slash here. I'm going to go for... Now nah, we can go for Iron Head. Ah, this mon is... This is a problem. Because i got to go into Obama Snow here. This might still be a loss. Which is unfortunate. Jolteon could still check the slash in a pinch. They go for CC. I'm gonna go into you and I have to volt immediately. I just wish I could break this Avalog, man. Ugh. Like I said, there's going to be a video done on why Avalog is as good as it is right now. His mon's unkillable. 
I, I honestly think we could suspect it out of the tier and it'd be fine. I mean, I have to sack you, right? <laughs> they just set up another sub. It's, it's literally impossible, man. Ah, uh, this is such a cringe way to lose this game, but I don't have any way of beating this mod. It, it's literally impossible. <laughs> this is why snow isn't good. Ouch! I may, I'm gonna make this earthquake. I'm just gonna hope. I think Pouteotaurus is probably more likely to be run into. I'm gonna go with the double coverage. because I, I just can't with these people. I just can't with them. They got the Pouteotaurus in... Imagine running into this, by the way, when you're trying to showcase the team again. You see the struggle? This is the eternal fight I face. Where I am running into something that completely counters what I want to showcase. And it just sucks, because I don't want to keep restarting a recording looking for a team where I can actually win. But I feel like I have to sometimes, because I'm going to run into this type of stuff multiple times in a row. And I don't think it does a lot. Now that game at least showcases it decently well, if only because my opponent brought snow too. But... It showcases the limitations, where, yeah, I mean, you just can't beat everything. Like, again, Pouty and Tauros, what do you want me to do versus it this game? There's not a ton. I'm going to lead Jolteon, because they got the Lycanroc, and admittedly, I couldn't tell you if this mod is going to <laughs> be Stealth Rock lead, because people just really like running Stealth Rock lead Lycanroc, or if it's going to be, you know, whatever else. I just want to get a free pivot turn one, because their whole team is slower than Jolt. Disregarding maybe Scarf, Pouty, and Tauros. But yeah. I think the last game sums up my worries very well with Hale. About your abusers just not having the coverage you'd want them to. And we can talk real quick too. About the differences between... Like, I'm going to keep calling it Hale as well. It, Hale, Snow, who cares? You know what I'm talking about. But the Snow teams, the biggest struggle right now, I think, is compromising your slots too much. And that might be something I'm over-dedicating to. Because I've got both... Coal and Quillfish. Don't you dare tear a ground. But the biggest issue, perhaps, is you don't have enough Mons to do everything you want. Because think about it, right? In last gen, you had Aurorus to set both your rocks and your weather, and even if you wanted Veil. Vale. At, at a point, I think we unbanned Veil. Vale. This gen. And you don't have Aurorus. <laughs> and so it makes the building much more awkward. I'm going to set up my rocks here, though. I might need them. But yeah, you're just compromised. And defensively, this three is just, you know, there's a lot you're missing. You need fighting resistances. And even then, this team has four fighting weeks and only a Quillfish. <laughs> so I'm willing to admit I might need to lab it more. I just felt like, you know, Cole was the last mod I went to because I felt it did enough good that... You know, putting all the team made sense. It's just, oh my god. It's really just Pouty and Taurus. I don't think Hale could beat this spawn consistently. I might need... I have Crunch Baratic. Originally, I was like Liquidation last. Maybe I go back to that? Maybe? Because it would be a good lure. I just think Bronzong's going to be such a pain otherwise. Let's try it. Let's go back to Liquidation. I guess Earthquake would probably be better. Earthquake plus CC just feels a little counterintuitive, but... This move is indeed stronger, so, as well. They Volt Switch. I got a My Rockticles. Very, very thoughtful of my opponent. Oh, and I'll be going a Bomb Snow and sacking it, apparently, immediately to an Aura Sphere. Because, once again, there is just not enough to take fighting moves. <laughs> uh, it's okay. I've got Jolt, and that's going to be impactful no matter what the weather is, you know? Um... A little awkward of a turn here, because I get... No, Baratic is actually faster than Scarf Mag, so that's nice. I'll CC. They're going to bring out the stupid Pouty and Tauros, though. They're going to bring out the stupid Tauros. Is it going to be stupid? Is it going to take no damage? Oh, my opponent gave me the Terra. Okay, I'll take it. This game's not unwinnable by any stretch. As they go into this, I could Terra fight here and take out Lycan, which might be worth it. I think it is. You get that resistance on deck and do a million. I think it's actually worth using Baratic to soften up the rest of my opponent's team. Unfortunately, they're not giving me the mons that I necessarily really want KO'd. But these two are still kind of annoying, right? It's these two that I'm most threatened by. 
But those, you know, those two are still annoying. Lycanroc's like Accelerant can pick off a lot of stuff. Magneton is potentially faster when the weather's gone. Depends on if there's Scarf or not. I think a lot of this game's gonna come down to if this is Scarf and if this is, like, Assault Vest. If this is Assault Vest, it's wraps for me, probably. Quill will have to do a lot. They go Altari here. I do have Icicle Crash, by the way. I am not, and I think they thought I was Choice Locked into CC there. I'm not. I, I am Boots. <laughs> so Baratic has KO'd half their team. It's got three more turns. They have not gone into this mod yet, mind you. The mod that beats my entire team down <laughs> within an inch of its life. <laughs> so please, I implore you, go into Clawitzer next and get crit CC'd and get KO'd. <laughs> please, I'm begging you. Uh, at least this at least this matchup isn't my team getting like practically walled the entire time. My last matchup was just truly filthy. I mean, come on, man. Facing bringing Avalug on Hail is already kind of just vile, and then queuing into another Hail team with it. Ugh, God. Yeah, though I think if anything, Colossals felt like the most expendable mon. I really don't want to drop it because otherwise Salazzle is going to I think be a little too threatening and I'm not too sure there's a mon that I'd rather put on the team you know like what what else is actually going to be helping me enough to justify replacing Lazzle I don't think there's anything they finally bring out their Tauros I could CC this as well I think I want to keep this though to CC the Yama so I'm going to go into Quillfish is they CC me. They might just be Choice Scarf, in which case, that's pretty good for me. I could flip turn here no matter what, because I'm not worried about what this mon does on this turn. And if they go into Claw Witzer, I mean, that is a free Jolteon. They tear at this, so I never have to worry about getting, like, random Terra grounded by that. And if they go into Yama on a Volt Switch, we probably will learn if they're Assault Vest or not. And I think I just bring Quillfish in versus that and Gunk Shot. I think we'll be okay. I'm still worried a bit about how this game will go because I... This mod is genuinely... Ah! Oh, never mind! I'm not worried! Yes, I was gonna say, this mod is genuinely really, really hard to beat, but my opponent decided, nah, they had enough. So we escape that one with our lives. I will pause while we get this next battle, guys. Let's be right back. This guy's team is absolutely insane. And on paper... I should obliterate them. Like, if we're being honest, this dude's team should get absolutely mopped by, like, Sand Slash. I get a Sword Sand Slash, I should just win. But I don't feel that way, you know? And, like, I feel obligated to immediately tear a steel here. Like, that's how frightened I am by the Slack. I'm gonna go into Cole. This is the least intimidating Trailblaze I have ever seen. This is the least intimidating trailblaze I've ever seen. Yeah, I said it a second time. I'm gonna go Quillfish here. Actually, I'm gonna go Obama Snow. You're not going for a fighting move. Oh, they are. It just doesn't do damage. <laughs> what is happening? Phoebus the fish, get it together, man. <laughs> trailblaze slacking only to still get Omega owned by Truant is hilarious. What sucks is because this mod is still kind of scary. I've been to waste so many turns pivoting around it. As they Gigamus Impactimus me. Don't worry, guys. Finally, I'm going to flip turn with two turns left of my weather. Ka-chow. Nah, this isn't real. I'm. Th th there's been a glitch in the simulation. I'm going for Terra Ice. I don't care if this is a bad play. I want to KO the spawn. <laughs> get it out of my sight and get it out of my life. Maybe they'll go into Salazzle here because they resist ice. They didn't. Oh, please hit. Please hit five. Please. Please. Yes. Okay. I hate that loaded dice, by the way, still can hit four times. I rarely see that happen. But just the sheer idea that I could get goobed like that is, uh, it's not fun. We took down, I guess, a threat. I really don't know. I am going for Earth. I don't care. Get Earthquaked. Don't you dare Terra Flying. You don't need that. You can just let me Earth. Thank you. Yeah. Alexa, you can just let me earthquake you. <laughs> so look at that little sand slash. Don't even need to set up. Just, just terastalize. Get that little boost to boost to that ice, icicle spear. And yeah, like Terra Ground is definitely better 
You ask me if I care? You know the answer. It's gonna be a resounding no. I'm gonna sack the bomb snow here. And by sack the bomb snow, I mean skillfully dodge the Guja's fire blast. Only did it set up an Aurora Veil and die through it because of the thing of specs. Youch. But now, I Icicle Spirit, I think this mod might sweep? Maybe? Lilligant could tear a fire or something as my boost if comes out. I'm here to tell you right now, this mod does not move me one bit. Yeah, I mean, bro, I got Veil, I got the Snow Boost as well. This is a very, yeah. They didn't want to get their poor little doggy sweat, but that, ooh, that was wraps. So, see, the, that kind of team, you can absolutely, hey. Hey, man. Hey, you, <laughs> hey, man. Wonder where we've seen that team used before. <laughs> so, this is the Kashalis HO. A little reminder about the team. I believe it's still in the builder. Yeah, you can all see some ideas we got in here. Shouts Top Hat Oddish. This set will get used eventually. I just got to work up the will to use it. But yeah, a little reminder, this is the team. I will keep that open in the background just in case, you know, just in case. And if they play the team like I did, they'll lead off with Worm. Yeah, <laughs> I will be spiking. I will be setting the spikes. Was the Worm Ghost? It was. Perhemos. But honestly, that's not even bad. If I force Earthworm to Terrastalize, I'm far happier. If I flip turn, I'll be forced out. I want to get as many spikes as I can in this game because the Jolt is lefties. They go for a wrap. Frankly, you took more damage than I did from the wrap. I'm just going to keep spiking. Like, okay. They start getting their own hazards. We're going to flip turn here. Red card forces me out, so I don't think I actually get to pick what I switch to. Yeah. Jolt comes out. That's okay. Um, I'm not threatened by this one. I will Volt switch here, though. Bring in my Colossal. And we're just gonna Heat Crash. Mm, I'll throw up Rocks. Because if they got Tatsugiri, I'm just gonna Terrastalize on him. Yeah, now I Heat Crash this. I mean, I'm Big Cole. I'm specially defensive, but I'm still gonna be fine. Oh, they made a misplay, my guy. I got that Crash on deck. I got that Crasher. And if they go to Tatsugiri, I think I might just Terra Ghost. Because I don't want them spinning away my hazards. Okay, well this mon is just not serious. I will rapid spin those away. And as long as you don't get a flame charge boost versus me, you're never beating me down. Like, th this is not sweeping me. Sir, please hit. Thank you. <laughs> oh, please hit. Please hit three times. Thank you. So, Colossal right now, putting this guy in a box... Yeah, that was um, that was a bit of a nightmare for my opponent. Colossal kind of said, "Hey, what if I just didn't die?" <laughs> very nicely done. Very nicely done. I think what my opponent probably needed to do is recognize, like I did in my live, huh? Worm isn't the best lead here. I think you know gives a little too many turns. Got to try leading off with one of the sweepers. I probably would have let off with Houndoom if I was them. Although, like the threat of Colossal. I get. It's it's a little scary. Colossal could be annoying to deal with from lead if you lead off with Doom, because then it's like, okay, well, the Mon's gonna get its hazard, it's gonna start throwing off attacks, but at that point, eh, eh, who cares? You know it ain't going for no damn fire move turn one. <laughs> you can bring in the worm and you'll be fine. All that to say, we'll pause when we get this next one, guys. I'll be right back. All right, my opponent has summed up this game very easily for me. I lose because it's, it's Trick Room. I, I don't have a way to win this. The way I win this is my opponent has an aneurysm mid-game and dies. But I've already played this matchup before. Not the same team, but I've played this matchup. And it is not good. I'm going to call mind because this mod literally means nothing to me this game. I'm just going to try and use it to get some damage. Like, that's, that's all this Jolteon means to me in this game. It's a means to an end versus this Bronzong. And we got our damage. I guess some more damage. Let's go! <laughs> you know what's really crazy, too? I think Terra Ice, Terra Blast isn't even a bad play here. I think there's a real shot they would switch. I'll Volt because I think that's a bit better of a mid-ground. And as long as we get the Zong Weakened, it's good. See, this is what I meant, though. This is also one of the worst spawns you could have gone to here. Like, full disclosure, this spawn probably shouldn't be coming out in that situation. 
But I respect it. I'm gonna go for a spin here. Because I do not need to be dealing with um these rocks. That did 40. Oh my lordy of specs. I should have rocked up. He goes to Yama. Oh god, are you really gonna be? He's thick fat, I think. No! Oh wait, no 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 no. Something far more sinister. That KO'd. Okay. I didn't think I would one-shot me. I guess instead he's choice banned. I thought he was going to be, um... He's not. What are you? I think he's just a salt fest then. What? Get this garbage-yo out of here. Come on, flip turn. There's no way you stay in. Yeah. Yeah, no. I thought he was going to be... What's it called? He was going to be, like, flame orb originally. Then I saw no item and I said CB, but I was like, wait a minute. No, no, no. <laughs> Belly drum? So, I don't know. I think he's AV, but hard to say. And yeah, so the reason I said this was a weird switch from him originally was because just, if I see him up, you're not actually beating me. A little bad. Um, Knockoff should KO this. I really hope it does. God, if this lives a knockoff. Dude, I did nothing. Not only did he stay in and risk the vehicle vault, though, it worked. Knockoff did 30. I'm gonna definitely go for knockoff here, hello? Get this bronze on out of my sight. Like, that doesn't KO, but you gotta keep in mind this is still worth it. He's heatproof too, we have the confirmation there on the item. I'm gonna go into my Obama Snow here, I'm gonna get crit by Flash Cannon, that's definitely not what I wanted to see. I'm gonna switch around a few times. Go back into you. Go back into Sand Slash here. Go for a knock. Just trying to waste some turns. Also, because he doesn't have a ton of mons that could actually set the room himself. So I think maybe we're we're not in the clear by any stretch, but we're in a better spot than we could be, you know? Go into you because you're like the best option. I'm gonna gunk shot here and just hope he's not terra stealing on my face. That miss is not good. Especially because Hariyama could definitely beat me. I'm a Destiny Bond here and hope he goes for high horsepower. They might just let Hariyama win, but I do have my Terra still. Please attack me. Thank you. Get out of here. So this is still tough. This is still very tough because that Hariyama is a threat. I'm going to go Jolteon here. Because they see this Bond comes out and like this isn't what I want to see at all. Uh, I'm just gonna immediately Terra Blast Ice. Pow! That did nothing. This is the problem, too. I, I just don't do enough damage there. Ah, fuck. I was hoping what they'd do is go Hariyama. So I vaulted. They're just giving me mons. Okay. Uh, maybe I'm lucky enough for CC to KO this if he's max special defense, max attack? But I don't think it's gonna happen. Yeah, they live. There's always gonna be, like I said, it's always an impossible matchup because Trick Room completely takes away what my team can do. But also the double thick fat man. It's just, hey, there's only so much I can do. <laughs> I think maybe what I should have done is instead of Volt, on that one turn versus Bronzong, maybe it would have been better to just T-Bolt again? I just didn't think that Vika Volt would be what came in, you know? This guy's got a regular Dunsparce, mind you, so this is just going to be a game filled with fun, I'm sure. Their team could even beat Trick Room, by the way. Am I really gonna face Trick Room again? Is this the hell that I deserve to live in? I don't think so. I don't think I deserve any of this. You tell, you tell me, do I deserve this level of suffering? <laughs> when does the pain end? Because if this is what I'm facing every game, I don't think the pain ever ends. Anyhow, I'm gonna Volt Switch here. That did 38, wow. Quillfish! There's just no way. There's just no way I'm facing this garbage. There's just no way! <laughs> what is this, man? What is this? What? Why? Why? Please, it, inform. What did I do to deserve this? Who did I hurt? Who did I hurt? Please, tell me. 
I don't even do enough damage to punish this. Oh my god, this is so annoying. Oh my god, are you really gonna get double boosts? We just gonna we're gonna get our we're gonna get our shit swept by dun, not even the Dunsparce. regular ass Dunsparce? On God? For real? For real? How much did Body Slam do? I don't even know if this bond beats me right here. Oh, I'm slower. That's actually unfortunate. I genuinely have no words. Like, you may think right now I'm just that I'm quiet for no reason. No, I like don't know what to say. What is this? You tell me you faced this before? That didn't even KO, bro! Like, what am I facing? I shouldn't have to terastalize! This is CC! <laughs> Thank you! This dude deserved to get that crit. All sense based around luck. You know what? I guess I'm luck. <laughs> well, I shouldn't have to terastalize to beat that! <laughs> it's a little Dunsparce, man! <laughs> like, yeah, I get it. He had boosts, but come on. Anyhow, I'm gonna go set up my damn snow again. You give me my snow and you give it to me now. Oh, yeah, they just Willow. Yeah, no, that makes a lot of sense, actually. Willow Wisp versus the Sand Slash. That can do that to you. Yeah, just stand and wisp. Why not? And now they have now they have Trick Room, so I lose. <laughs> what is this? This is the worst live ever. This is genuinely the worst PS live ever. Because you can't explain any of this rationally. There is no rationalization of any of this. You can't rationalize this dude's team. Definitely can't rationalize that. Don't ask me to. I don't have an answer. Why? Do, why? Why do you randomly come out and have stealth rock? Get your stupid ass rocks out of here. I'm setting up my own stealth rock. You know what's crazy? Somehow Jolteon could win. I don't know what world that's in where Jolteon manages to finagle a win. But you know what? I bet there's a there's a timeline out there somewhere. Somewhere. <laughs> this game is such ass. <laughs> Again, it's like... Just, some of these matchups feel miserable, man. Absolutely miserable. <laughs> hey, at least I'm having fun. That's all I could say. Heat Crash is also always 40 power. I hate this move. Yo. Godlike reads. Come on, hit five times. That's... Okay. Yeah, no, that's not five times. That's f that's two. Godlike reads, though, from yours truly. Pow! Pow! Come on. Come on. One more. Yeah! We did it! We took out the giraffe! Hey. <laughs> uh, I'm gonna go bear tick. Ah! You've been goobed! <laughs> Yo, I might outslow this? Never mind. That mod is way too slow. The hell you want me to do about outslowing that? I'm crazy if you think that was happening. I right, T-bolt you. Hold on. Have we found an out? Hold on. Maybe? Hold on. Pause champ. Hit him with that. Get a boosted volt switch. Sack the colossal. Hmm. Hmm, Terra Blast? Yo, we did it. That's insane. That's a great one to end it on. What the hell? We won this impossible matchup? GG? I don't know if I'd call this a good game, but it was one of the games I've played. I'm gonna have a G. Just one G. <laughs> that was an insane last match. What the hell? So, I mean, this showcase of teams, we definitely saw where things could go awry for Snow. There were lots of matchups where it's very hard to make the progress you want to make. And you kind of see, I'm not going to say these teams get naturally built as having a good snow matchup. Because there is nothing natural about a lot of those builds. They're very, un, you know, not standard, right? But it still showcases the options you've gotten in you to check snow. Thick Fat Yama is a great deterrent. And also just Yama in general is quite bulky. So you saw Bear Tick CC not able to pick it off from like, 50, you know, under 60%. You saw Pouty and Tauros, the live, basically, because we ran into that mod a million times. Even something like Trick Room. Trick Room is another offensive playstyle. 
matches up very well into snow because it completely flips the whole identity of your team on its head and says, yeah, you, you got nothing. And it just even an individual mod like Pylos one. Not something that's like a world beater necessarily for snow, but definitely still slows your team down a bit. Even something like a Salazzle can limit you as well because outside of snow, at least this build in particular, only has one mod outrunning it. So I don't think Snow is going to be particularly potent, at least in the early days. I think it will take a bit of refining before we start figuring out, okay, what kind of comp really makes Snow function. But that's it from me. I hope you all enjoyed this uh, pain and suffering. I will see you all in the next video. Peace.